Hey, Sam fam, if you know me, you know I live, breathe, and stream live streaming. I love it. I've been doing this since 2005, and today I'm going to show you some really cool software from my sponsor, Just Broadcaster. We're going to take a basic look at the features of this software and show you how to up your game from a single camera live stream to something epic. Gang, if you like this video, you want to see more about Just Broadcaster, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what your interests are and what questions you have. If you're using a mobile app to live stream a single cam for your business or brand, you are live streaming wrong. The live streaming world is quickly getting super saturated and as a business brand or influencer, you need to up your game and grab your audience's attention. Just Broadcasters is a streamlined, affordable external encoder that works on Mac or Windows and will give you some great features, including scene templates for quick setups, lower thirds, scrolling text, access uh, to multiple video and audio input, but that's not all. If you've got Just Broadcast for Facebook, it hooks directly into the Facebook API and gives you these Facebook-only features with the ability to show comments and to do Facebook polls using the built-in emojis. Uh, it will also let you log in without having to deal with a stream key. You'll just do that straight through Facebook on your browser. Just Broadcaster has some other advanced features, and we can get into that at another time, uh, like custom scenes, lower thirds, and poll setups. It has new tech NDI capabilities, and it also allows for RTMP streaming platforms from other services, not just Facebook. Uh, and it has a mobile app that will turn your phone into a Wi-Fi camera. Today we're gonna take a look at the basics. We're gonna do this pretty quick. So if there's anything you want uh, a little more of an explanation or a specific video, just leave a comment below and I'll get to it. Let's get started. Once you've downloaded and launched the application for the first time, you'll get a default setup with one simple scene. I've added a few from the templates already. All right. Uh, to add a new scene, you just hit the plus button here. A pop-up window shows up with several different scene setups. I've actually created a few uh, at the top there that you can see. Uh, you'll just pick the one you want. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see options for different types of transitions. Generally, I don't go for these except for maybe a fade. I usually like to just straight cut. Uh, if you're dealing with a scene setup that's gonna, gonna use a video clip, you have the ability to auto play or pause media file. So when you switch to that scene, it will start or pause a video. We'll take one of these and add that in, and it just pops up right there at the bottom. You can add several of these setups and switch between them. Uh, they're automatically assigned a hotkey, as you see at the bottom. And if you're on a Mac, it's gonna be command followed by the number sign. Once you've picked your scene or several scenes, you click on the scene you want. Boop, boop, boop. Let's go here. Mouse over the area you wanna work on and you'll get uh, four options, uh, video device, screen sharing, image, or uh, video clip. To add a video, click on the webcam icon. A window opens with a list of all your camera inputs. You click on the one you want. Ha ha! Uh, it then changes. You'll get a list of new icons that give you uh, like filters, cropping, remove, chroma key if you want, and settings. Settings will give you different uh, adjustments for resolution. All right, then if you want a screen share, you click the little computer, it will give you a list of uh, windows that are open. Uh, here's my website. Yay, look at that. And again, you have the uh, crop and filter ability. Then you can uh, insert an image, much like with any program, the typical landscape picture of a mountain and sun and then you just drop that in there click it open boom blam all right and finally uh any video oh by the way i think with the uh, images it's uh restricted to jpeg and png a animated gif will not play uh finally we add a video clip and you will notice with the video clip that a sound an audio uh, input happens to appear you get new options for the video clip rewind uh, loop or play once so if the arrow is just once and then there's a loop and finally play and pause so if you're uh, needing to stop it you have that that ability right there you'll see my sound is activating this video has some black at the beginning because it's fancy there we go so that's what that all looks like and you can uh, of course view the uh, game of thrones anonymous support group video that this clip is from on my youtube channel right, okay, let's make this big all right at the bottom of your preview window you will notice six blue round icons from left to right these are headphones on or off 
uh, settings, uh, text overlays, which is your lower third scrolling text and pull, add an audio input or sound device, record and broadcast. The on air button is the broadcast button. All right, so we're just going to take a look at the text overlay feature today. Uh, this has lower third scrolling text and the Facebook voting. These are all pretty intuitive, pretty straightforward. Uh, lower thirds and scrolling text give you three fields each to work with, and every everyone has their own preset templates, which you'll see a preview at the bottom. I've put in a few different um, samples. So you'll just uh, put whatever you want in here. Right? And then to activate it, you hit the little play button, and it'll last as long as the duration in seconds right here, uh, or you can manually hide it. Uh, you can also adjust the height at which it appears at the lower the height and the uh, the X and the Y there. So we'll see a little different. Yeah, see, there you go. That's simple, simple. And that scrolling X, very similar, except um, it will go across the screen at the bottom. And you can adjust the speed. Now, I believe when you adjust the speed, it doesn't take effect until you bring it back up. So hide that and come back, and that's very fast. And it has a uh, function to repeat how, how many times. Oh my god, so big scrolling! Alright, now before we get into polling, on the left you have this readout top to bottom. This is views in your room, and then the emojis, which uh, adhere to the Facebook API policy. And then finally, the... Uh, comments which will tell you when you have comments and this will actually turn into a link and you can click on it a, a screen will show up giving you a list of the comments from your your chat room your live stream and you can then click on the button to put them on screen so that everyone can see what you're uh, replying to directly and we're gonna go back over to uh, our text overlay and we'll do a little poll work uh, this allows you to do any any amount of polling from two to six emojis. I personally do not like to use the, the thumbs up because it is the default go-to sort of reaction that people will use. And if you really want to get accurate poll results, you're going to get a lot of false positives on that. So I like to use primarily just the faces. So smiley and angry here will, uh, will be our poll. And uh, we'll throw those on screen. When we're live, numbers will appear there. You'll also see them on the left, of course. Uh, and you could use a setup like this to uh, add videos or images for people to vote on. I'm actually going to do some images. Uh, you're like, guys, I want to change my profile picture. Uh, should it be this awesome picture of me holding a butterfly or this uh, other awesome picture of me holding a butterfly? Oh, let me know. You to click those emojis. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so there you go. It's super quick to do that. Super easy, super simple. Uh, and now keep in mind when you flip away to a new screen, uh, the poll will stay up until you deactivate it in the uh, polling window. It, there is a short key for that. Do that and get rid of it. All right, so once you've got all your setups and you're ready to go, you're just going to hit that broadcast button. It's going to take you over to your browser, open up Facebook, and you will be able to either schedule a, a stream ahead of time uh, or go live right away. Guys, I think this is great software for anyone looking to do something more dynamic than a simple one camera solution most mobile apps give you. It is great for anyone who's been intimidated by learning OBS or doesn't want to drop the money on Wirecast. The comment and polling features are awesome. Check out Just Broadcaster. Follow the link in the video description. They have three versions, YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope. And if you have any questions about the software or what I've done in this video, leave a comment below. Coming up next, I'll show you how I use Discord to produce and record the Kickin' Show crowdfunding podcast with our host.